Hello everyone, welcome to week six, day three. Today we're gonna to be learning about interquartile range and box plots. I promise it's more fun than it sounds. Let's get started. Our big question of the day is how can we find the IQR or interquartile range? Well, rather than define interquartile range, I'm gonna show you five steps on how to find it. Let's get started with number one. So step number one is to put the data set in order from least to greatest, right? So right here you see a normal data set. So we need to put it in order with the smallest numbers first. So we start with one and then one, and then we have a three, right? So if you were to go through it, you get something that looks like this. One, one, three, five, five, seven, seven, 10, 10, 13, 13, 13, 15, right? You go ahead and write down every single number. The best way to check to make sure you've done it correctly is to make sure you had the same amount of the numbers on top and on bottom. And in this case, we do. All right, don't worry about doing this yourself now. Just go ahead and follow along with me. So, so far in step one, we put the data set in order from least to greatest. Let's move on to step number two. Step number two says find the minimum and maximum. Well, minimum is the smallest number, so that's pretty easy. The minimum number is one. And the maximum number is the biggest number, that is 15. All right, so the minimum and maximums are fairly simple. You just find the smallest number and the biggest number. Now, they might also ask you to find the range of a data set. So what is range? Let's go ahead and define that word now. Range is the difference between the lowest and highest values. In our case, to find the range of the data set, we simply do 15, right, minus 1 which equals 14. So our range is 14. Let's move on to step number three. In step number three, we want to find the median. So what exactly is median? Let's look at the definition. Median is the middle number in a sorted list of numbers. Great, we're gonna find the number in the middle. The best way to do that is just to go ahead and cross off numbers until you are left in the middle. So we cross off a small number and a big number, small and big. And you just keep going until you're left with only one or two numbers. Let's see what we're going to be left with. And we only have a seven left. So our median is seven, right? Fairly simple. If there would have been two numbers, like let's say you had uh, seven and nine left in the middle, you just take the average and you find that the average is eight right, or the mean of those numbers. But in our case, we have a median of seven. All right, let's move on to step number four. In step number four, we want to find the lower and upper quartiles. And what that means is, if we get rid of the median, right, we're taking out the seven, the bottom numbers or the lower numbers are one, one, three, five, five, and seven, and the upper numbers are 10, 10, 13, 13, 13, and 15. Right, there's six numbers on each side. So in order to find the quartile, we have to find the median of these two different number sets. So the numbers in the middle here are three and five. So what's in the middle of three and five, or what is that average? Four, very good. And on our top set, we have 13s in the middle. So the average of 13 and 13 is just 13. So your lower quartile is four, and your upper quartile is 13. All right, very good. Let's move on to step number five. In step number five, we finally find the IQR, the interquartile range. And we do that by finding the difference between the lower and upper quartiles. Again, we had 13 and four, right? So we simply subtract them and we get an IQR of nine. Okay, so that's how you find the IQR interquartile range. I told you there were five steps to that and there are. But there's one more thing that we can do with this information that's really cool and that you're going to learn in school. And it's called making a box plot. So let's call that step number six. Okay, so for step number six, we need all this information we found earlier. The minimum, the maximum, lower quartile, upper quartile, and median. All right, all of that we found before. So we're going to follow a few steps to make our box plot. All right, first of all, you want to put in a number line. Okay, now it depends on your data set how big the number line has to be, right? Our data set goes from 1 to 15, so a number line of 0 to 20 will certainly work for us. So the first thing we do is we put a horizontal line between the minimum and maximum. So we start at 1, 
and we go all the way out to 15, which is about right there. Okay, now we're going to put a box right around the lower and upper quartile. So the lower quartile starts at 4, which is right here, and it goes all the way out to 13, which is the upper quartile. So now you can see we have our boxes, right? Hence the name box plot. And the final step, let's see if we've done everything so far. We have the minimum, maximum, lower and upper quartiles. We need to use the median. So the final step is for the median. We just simply put in a vertical line at the median, which is seven. And that'll show you the halfway point. All right. So a box plot will look something like this. You have your endpoints, right? Minimum, maximum, your two quartiles, and your median. And that's a good way to represent all of the data that we've just gone through. Now, I know we've done a lot of work so far today. What I want you to do is try to recreate these six steps for your homework. So go ahead and click on the PDF in the upper left hand corner to download your homework today. It's going to be a six step process just like we just did. If you need to go back and watch the video while you're going through the steps, that's perfectly fine. Do your best and then come back to this video and I'll show you step by step how to go through the six stages. Okay, so go ahead and hit pause now before I reveal the answers in three, two, one. All right, step one. Hopefully you put the data set in order. We have three, 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 four, five, five, eight, 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 nine, nine. All right, and there should be 11 numbers on each. Very good. Minimum and maximum, we have three and we have nine. Very good. The median is the one in the middle, it's five. Upper and lower quartiles are eight and three. And then we're gonna move on down and we see that uh, the IQR, is simply 8 minus 3, which is 5 again, same as the median. And then we're going to make a box plot. Your box plot should look something like this. All right. If you did all six steps correctly, go ahead and meet me back here tomorrow for day number four. If you had a mistake along the way, I'm going to go through each step in a little bit more detail right now. So back to step number one. We're going to put it in order, right? So you can see we did a 3, 3, 3. A four is over here, and then a couple fives. There's a whole bunch of eights, three eights, and then two nines. Right, you simply put it in order from the smallest to the biggest. All right, minimum and maximum is pretty easy. You just pick the number on the far left and the far right. That's your minimum and your maximum values, right? Minimum being the smallest, maximum being the biggest. The median is the one in the middle. So we can do our cross off method. Cross it out, cross it out. We're, right, we're just crossing out numbers, big and small, small and big, small and big, and we're left with a five in the middle. So that is our median, right? And then to do our upper quartile range, right? We're gonna go through and we're gonna pick the median of these numbers over here. So let's use red this time, no, black to cross them out, cross it out, cross it out, cross it out, cross it out. We're left with three on the left side. So the lower quartile is three, and then we're crossing out our numbers on the outside and we're left with eight on this one. So the upper is eight. And then for step number five, you simply have to subtract eight minus three to get five, your interquartile range. All right, let me go through the box plot with you. So first we do a number line, check and check, right? Pretty simple. You don't have to do one that's this big. I just had this one from before. Then you're gonna do a horizontal line from your minimum to your maximum, which was three all the way to nine, right? Your minimum was three, your maximum was nine. So we could even put a dot here if you wanted to and a dot here if you wanted to, right? So that's done. Now you want your box around your lower and upper quartiles. We know that there are three and eight. So here's our box around three and goes all the way to eight. And finally, you draw your vertical line at the median, which is right here. And that is your box plot diagram. All right, I hope that makes sense now. We will see you back here tomorrow for your last lesson in this course. It's gonna be week six, day number four. It is your last lesson before your final review, quiz, and exam. So I look forward to seeing you here tomorrow. Bye for now.